Hi, welcome to Simple Tools with Denise. Today I'm going to show you how to make a catapult like this. I use this in therapy all the time, and I use it to flip these um, little chips like this. Okay, I've had this for about 20 years, and the spring in the clothespin is finally going, so it's time to make a new one. And I'm going to show you how to do it. You'll need a glue gun, a scrap block of wood. I just um, varnished this a few times just to keep it uh, cleaner looking. You'll need a jumbo craft stick, a clothespin, a milk lid, and a brass fastener. This is a one inch brass fastener. You can see that I pre-drilled holes in the milk lid and in the jumbo craft stick. They're going to fit together like this. So you want to leave a little tab there because that's where your finger goes when you flip the catapult. And I used a 7 64th inch drill um, to make this hole. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, just put the glue the clothespin onto your wood block. Like that. Okay, let that dry. Put the fastener in here. It's a little bit tight. You want it tight though. Okay, I used to use hot glue to uh, attach the milk lid, but it would just pop off too often. And Ever since I used a brass fastener, it's never come off. And that's been years and years, so. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, now this is very important. And take you didn't see, I glued this on backwards. You want it like this, so you can flip it. Not like that, that's backwards. Okay, so let's get it right this time. <laughs> Let's let that dry a little bit and then I'll show you how it works. But just to talk about how I use it for kids with emerging language, um, one and two words, you know, I'll use words like go and up, in, out, you know, we popped it out, my turn, your turn, more, uh, words like that. And for when a bunch of chips are flipped and they're all over the floor, I just tell the kids, let the chips fly, let them fly, let them go all over, and then when we've done however many repetitions we want. Then I'll give them the magic wand or magnetic wand and they get to pick them up. So another chance to say up or if they're working on final K, I love to use the word pick, pick up. And they love to pick the chips up. And for older kids, um, it's whatever trial, whatever word I'm working on that I want a bunch of trials with. It just works really well. In fact, often I'll just have them say a word 10 times for one chip or a phrase 10 times for one chip. And so you can get like 100, 200 repetitions really fast and really easy and they love it. So let's show you how this one works. Much farther. Let's see? It's a blast. Come visit us at slpproadvisor.com for more therapy tips. Have fun with it.